First, here's a look behind the scenes at the production of Mother Goose in Clitheroe. You're wasted on this programme. <laughs> Pantomime is changing. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. This year, for example, there are only two productions of Puss in Boots and only one of Mother Goose, a pantomime which was first performed in the UK more than 200 years ago. What's your name, love? Dolly. But here in Clitheroe, you know Lancashire, what? they value tradition. Pantomime was all about moral traditions, but Mother Goose is even more so because it has a good fairy and it has a bad fairy, and the battle is about the good and the bad and who wins out in the end. And I think that's really important for young people and families to actually go to that and be able to cheer and boo. You haven't? Oh, well, they also value people playing animals and men playing women, but more productions are choosing not to include these characters. Oh, this is where it belongs. And if you ask them here, is the traditional panto a thing of the past? There's only one answer. Oh, no, it's not! Julie McCulloch, BBC News. So we now have quite strong wicked queens. Some pantos have never had dames in. Peter Pan doesn't have a dame character. So if you want a dame in Peter Pan, you have to create a character for a dame. Um, because there isn't a natural one in but the story. But that's the freedom of the panto. You can write in whatever you like, can't you? Absolutely. And, and that's part of the excitement of panto, that it, it transforms all the time in relation to...